Google's Gemini just made GPT-4 look like a baby toy? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to delve into. It seems that the world of artificial intelligence is constantly evolving, and today we're going to talk about Google's Gemini, a groundbreaking technology that has been turning heads and making waves in the AI community. Stay tuned as we explore how Gemini is challenging the dominance of GPT-4, making it look like a mere baby toy. Let's get started. Google unveiled Gemini, its most recent language model, LLM, to the public. Text, code, audio, photos, and video are just a few of the many forms of information that this new LLM can comprehend, work with ease, and integrate. Gemini, according to Google, is their most powerful and all-purpose AI model to date. But there's more to it than what first glances reveal. Gemini is a series of artificial intelligence models that come in three sizes, Gemini Ultra, Gemini Pro, and Gemini Nano. It is not a single model. According to Google, its new flagship AI model, Gemini, has arrived in its first iteration, version 1.0, and comes in three distinct sizes, each tailored to specific needs. It has the flexibility to run on everything from data centers to mobile devices. We designed Gemini to be natively multimodal, pre-trained from the start on different modalities. Then we fine-tuned it with additional multimodal data to further refine its effectiveness, explains CEO Sundar Pichai in the official blog post. The three sizes of Gemini. 1. Gemini Nano Google's Gemini Nano is a lightweight AI model optimized specifically for mobile devices, particularly the Pixel 8. This efficient model enables on-device tasks to be performed seamlessly, even offline. Whether it's suggesting relevant replies in chat apps or summarizing text content, Gemini Nano delivers powerful AI capabilities without relying on external servers, ensuring a smooth and responsive user experience. 2. Gemini Pro The more sophisticated version of Gemini AI, Gemini Pro is set to power several Google AI services and will provide BARD with its initial fundamental support. Gemini Pro, which uses Google's data centers, was created especially to support BARD, our AI chatbot, in its most recent iteration. This cutting-edge technology has an amazing capacity to comprehend complicated questions and respond quickly. 3. Gemini Ultra According to Google, Gemini Ultra is the most potent LLM. It is ideally suited for data centers and enterprise applications and is touted to excel at handling extremely complicated tasks. While it isn't available everywhere just yet, Google claims that Gemini Ultra outperforms current state-of-the-art results on 30 of the 32 widely used academic benchmarks used in large language model LLM, research and development. It does better on most standard tests than other LLMs, according to this. After completing its current testing phase, Gemini Ultra, which is intended for complicated tasks, is anticipated to be issued. Gemini's Accessibility Beginning with Gemini Nano, Gemini AI is now available on Pixel 8 Pro devices, bringing improved functionalities like Summarize to the Recorder app and Smart Reply to Gboard, first introduced in WhatsApp. Duet AI, Chrome, Ads, Search, and other Google products and services are all part of the projected Gemini expansion. With the release of its GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 big language models, OpenAI revealed additional enhancements, including upgraded knowledge bases and a significantly longer context window. The business claims it will start shielding clients from copyright disputes by following Google and Microsoft's example. With data going back to April 2023, GPT-4 Turbo, which is presently accessible through an API preview, has been trained, the company. The GPT-4 version that was first released in March could only analyze data up to September 2021. Although it did not provide a specific date, OpenAI intends to deliver a production-ready turbo mode. For developers, GPT-4 Turbo is more affordable to run. With a 128K context window, which OpenAI claims is the equivalent to more than 300 pages of text in a single prompt, GPT-4 Turbo will also be able to see more data. Large language models such as GPT are generally able to comprehend more of the query and provide more thoughtful responses within bigger context windows. Two versions of GPT-4, one with a context window of only 8K and the other at 32K, were previously distributed by OpenAI. According to OpenAI, developers can run GPT-4 Turbo for less money. 
Compared to 3 cents on GPT-4, input will only cost 1 cent for every 1,000 tokens, which is the basic text or code unit that LLMs can read. The most recent version of GPT-4 will continue to support text-to-speech requests, graphic prompts, and the integration of DALL-E 3. According to the business, GPT-4 Turbo has been improved so that users may ask the model to complete more complicated jobs with just one request. Users can also instruct GPT-4 Turbo to utilize a certain coding language, such as XML or JSON, for results. Context windows, functionality, and cost will all be improved for businesses utilizing the GPT-3.5 Turbo model. It will use the same function updates as GPT-4 Turbo and come with a 16K context window by default. The costs of the GPT-3.5 Turbo are $0.01 cent for input and $0.002 for output. GPT-3.5 Turbo, which OpenAI introduced in March, was touted as the greatest model for use outside of conversation. The company came out with an adjustable version in August. The competition between Google's Gemini and OpenAI's GPT-4 marks a pivotal moment in the evolution of artificial intelligence, particularly in the domain of language models. While both technologies excel in natural language processing, they diverge in their approaches and strengths. GPT-4, developed by OpenAI, stands as a pinnacle in language modeling. Its power emanates from an extensive pre-training process where it learns from diverse internet text, encompassing a colossal neural network with billions of parameters. GPT-4's contextual understanding and capacity to generate coherent, human-like text have positioned it as a leader in various applications, from chatbots to content creation. Beyond its technical prowess, Gemini showcases versatility in real-world applications. From enhancing customer support interactions to improving the precision of legal document analysis, Gemini proves its efficacy across various industries. Google's Gemini represents a paradigm shift, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in natural language processing. As the technology continues to evolve, Gemini stands as a testament to Google's commitment to advancing AI and shaping the future of dynamic, context-aware language models. On the other hand, Google's Gemini introduces a paradigm shift with its unique approach. Gemini combines pre-training with on-the-fly adaptation, enabling real-time learning. This adaptability proves to be a game-changer, allowing Gemini to dynamically respond to new data and evolving language patterns. Its contextual grasp and adaptive learning mechanism set it apart, challenging the static nature of GPT-4. In terms of performance, Gemini shines in contextual understanding and handling ambiguity. Its ability to adapt to industry-specific jargon and continuous learning from real-time data gives it a competitive edge. GPT-4, while undeniably powerful, may be perceived as more static in comparison. Applications in the real world highlight the advantages of both models. Gemini's versatility is useful in customer service, interpreting medical information, and analyzing legal documents. The adaptability of GPT-4 is still apparent in applications like content generation and chatbots. Essentially, the battle between Gemini and GPT-4 is a reflection of the larger trend in AI, which is a move toward models that are more context-aware and adaptive. Although GPT-4 demonstrates the potential of extensive pre-training, Gemini's real-time learning strategy pushes the envelope, creating a more dynamic and fascinating AI environment. The particular objectives of the application and the changing demands of the AI landscape eventually determine which of these approaches is best. In conclusion, Google's Gemini has indeed set a new standard in natural language processing, surpassing GPT-4 in terms of parameters, capabilities, and real-time adaptability. The implications for the future are exciting, but it's crucial to approach these advancements with a mindful consideration of ethical concerns. What are your thoughts on Gemini? Do you think it's a game changer, or is there more to the story? Let's continue the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech insights. Until next time, thank you for watching.